you can go suck a dick. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream wager. How goes it today, big guy? Right? Right? <laughs> It's kind of fucking sick. There's like nothing on the back. It's just a Christmas sweater, but it's kind of fucking sick, dude. And I mean, it's literally stitched in. It doesn't come with the Percy hair included. I don't know if you can see it, but I mean, it's literally stitched in. Like those are, it's not like painted or anything. Like those are the actual stitches of the sweater. And it's kind of fucking sick. I, uh, oh, let me... It's not currently up on the store. Give me like half a second. I can post it. It's hidden. So I just need to unhide it. Why the fuck would I want that? Um, product Christmas sweater. Uh, how do I? I have to click it to unhide it. It's kind of annoying. Public save. Um, also, there's Bon Jovi Rock's wrapping paper. I did not get the magnet today. Actually, I got... The so I already had gotten the wrapping paper. I could have unhidden it already, but I didn't want to because of the Christmas sweater to kind of pair with it. Um, so yeah, what delivered the fastest? So what delivered slightly under two weeks was the polo, the mug, the tank, I believe, and the stickers were slightly under two weeks. What was basically right at two weeks from the time I ordered was the long sleeve and the hoodies, which came together, like in actually the same bag, but what delivered the same day in a separate bag was also the wrapping paper. The iPhone case. And that was it. So the wrapping paper and the iPhone case came the same day as about two weeks out with the hoodie and the long sleeve. And then what came today, which I placed the order on the 17th, today's the third. So 
two days after two weeks a little after two weeks um was the pet collar which i'm unhiding right now and if percy comes down here at some point i'll try and show it off um the pet collar the christmas sweaters i guess christmas sweater and crew neck yeah, so that was it. Christmas sweater and crew neck obviously came together. Produce, I mean, it's the same like material. It's just not Christmas printed. It's it's. I can get it down here in a second. I could also do it with the long sleeve, which I've been saying for the last two days I'll do. Um, but the uh, it's the same kind of material. Um, it's just basically like a, I guess a gray. It's not gray because it doesn't obviously merge like with the the logo, but it's not really white. It's kind of like between white and gray, like I guess light gray. Um, uh, and then uh, just the logo, a bunch of your rocks on the front. So, I mean, same as this. Same as this, but the logo and the, and the text are a little bit closer together because there's not Christmas stuff in the middle. Um, and then it's just like gray around. Um, what's up, Kenny? What's up, Fast Miner? Finally can watch a stream. I like that. Bunch of your rocks, theme paper that wraps. So no like yes oh I, the joke is wraps with an r i get that um the wrapping paper was kind of annoying it works but it's not like a roll of wrapping paper like it came in a roll and and, and it's not a surprise it says it on the page and i knew it and i was like whatever i guess it's fine let's let's test it out but um i could probably show this right i just realized this is the admin page so here is my reason to take your 2026 second off your hands thank you in advance brother i'm not giving a second for trey tucker i'll let you know that right now but thank you for that stuff welcome back to the rocks wager um it's actually three sheets basically of paper um so it's like and, and but each sheet is like decently sized i thought it said it hey yo <laughs> what up spoiler for how much my entire order cost plus shipping um view details okay i guess yeah yeah so it's three sheets of like basically 30 by 20 which is like decently sized and so that's why the uh yeah like if you were to show this image obviously this is <laughs> this is generated simulated however you want to call it but um the box isn't like massive so like for example you could probably because you would have to if it's whatever 28 inches in length you'd have to wrap it like all the way around on one side so you could handle the other side's 19 inches so as long as it was say four inches in height a box that's like four inches in height you could wrap up a 15 by not quite 15 box uh you'd have to get the four inches on both sides off the 20 like a 15 by 10 so if it was like a four inch tall box you could wrap up like a 15 by 10 uh with a single sheet but it's three sheets so it's like you could also just like wrap up triple that surface area if you did it perfectly with the with the three sheets that you've got and you're okay with like you know cutting it and such but um yeah you can kind of like tell that it's, it's a single sheet isn't gonna wrap like a massive box but you can kind of overlay it so it's all right i mean it's it's 12 bucks like it's not that bad um oh yeah this is for for those of for just for clarity right it says you'll make three dollars per three dollars and five cents per sale so in theory i can make it nine dollars and just make five cents per sale uh but it says your selling price must be 11.95 or higher um so like i i quite literally like this is what i would normally do with my old store is like the first order like first however long on the merch store i would just not make a profit like i would set it to the lowest price i can and let you guys place your orders 
um but i like apparently can't do that with this so um yeah every i do actually make a profit which is t rare for merch not that it matters at all like off of wager's order i made like 10 bucks um but yeah spoiler by the way sorry wager for letting people know what you've spent but yeah unhidden the christmas sweater unhidden the wrapping pa wrapping paper and uh unhidden the pet collar as well i will give a little asterisk on the pet collar um i i can attest to the medium percy got a medium and it fits but with the way that i make the design it's kind of fucky wucky because the the logo strip is so long and i like can't upload like the logo that i uploaded is 20,000 pixels by 667 tall but the the file that i can upload is limited to 20,000 pixels so if i were to try to make it any longer i would have to make the logo bigger right because like like if basically if i were to add the logo out to the side here like i would have to then crunch it down no yeah the logo would be smaller that's what it was right because of the ratio of the height to the width so if i wanted to effectively decrease that ratio so i guess the ratio of width to height if i wanted to increase that ratio and make it longer for the same height um i can't actually make the width longer right it's capped at 20k so i would actually just have to make the height smaller and at 667 pixels it's like you kind of like i can't really go smaller than that because if i go smaller than it it's like like it's gonna be like kind of pixelated so I could probably try, but, like, I didn't really want to risk it. So, anyway, all that to say, it looks good for, like, if I look at the mock-up, it looks good for a medium um, because the logo stops before it, like, wraps around. So, actually, basically, I guess it goes this way on the inside. So, like, this is the inside of the neck, so no one's ever going to see that. It's all the outside, and that all fits. But on the large, if you have a particularly large dog and you're trying to expand it, like, even further. By the way, it looks better than this. It's not, like, blurry than this. I'll show you guys later when Percy comes down, if he does. Um, but, yeah, with the large, it's, like, there's so much length to it that I expect it to look fine if the neck is on a relatively low... Actually, I should go upstairs and test it. Because I have his collar, so I should I could measure out like how long I could make the medium before it the the faces start to wrap back around and it starts to look bad, and then it should be the same amount on the large. It's just a matter of the large. While that length is the same cutoff point, it in theory has more that it could go. So if your dog is fully expanding a large collar all the way out, like so, it's all single stretched and not double stretched because like right now it's all the way tight because it's all double stretched around but to lengthen this out you would make it more single less double um if if your dog's neck is so big that you're fully single stretching a <laughs> a large collar then it's like it might not look great so that little asterisk on the on the pet collar but it, it shouldn't really affect anything so and it's pretty uh yeah, so, like, if your dog's neck is fucking two feet in diameter, it might start to look a little weird. But if your dog's neck is two feet in diameter, you'll fucking deal with it. <laughs> so. Uh, he's an absolute honker, if that's the case. Yeah! <laughs> if your dog's neck is two feet in diameter, not diameter, in circumference, if your dog's neck is two feet in circumference, just also buy him a long sleeve. <laughs> I've been good, Fast Miner. How you been, man? What's stopping us from just doing that trade between us? The fact that I would only ever overpay that much if eight other teams were included in the trade. Uh, well, I get weird looks in public if I wear the bunch of rocks dog color instead of my dog. Probably not. Probably not. Let's uh, let's review this trade real quick, by the way. I wouldn't do that likely raw. 
Um, this is probably good. Uh, so JP gets likely Pacheco in a third. No. I'll say it right now, he's not sending Jordan Mason and a first for that. So uh, that's a no to JP. I imagine this is, yeah, this is Kenny. Gets Fergie Gasicki. I mean, I guess Kenny would do it because he's the one that sent it. He's giving up Brian Thomas and Leggett and a first, two firsts, two seconds, a third, and a fourth. Jesus wept, Kenny. You would do this? I'm going to keep it real with you right now. All right, so let's digest all the small parts of this. Gasicki for Mark Andrews is probably not far from pretty equal. I, I personally think Gasicki's probably worse, but with how Mark Andrews has performed this season, we'll see. Um, Jake Ferguson for Goddard is probably about the same. Obviously, Goddard's looked better this season, but Ferguson's younger, and Goddard's honestly only looked good because their entire receiving core is fucking dog shit and dead. Um... So call them equal, call Gasicki and Mark Andrews equal, if you will, even if it's not. Demario Douglas for Mari Cooper. It's, to me, obviously, Mari Cooper's better, but he's older, so you probably are basically calling that the same value as well. And Brian Thomas, with how he's looked, is close to either one of A.J. Brown or Amon Arsate Brown. Um, so I would say Brian Thomas and, at most, like a second... Even if you want to be generous and say Brian Thomas in a first is equal to like Amon Ross St. Brown or, or AJ Brown, call AJ Brown worse. So AJ Brown is equal to Brian Thomas in a first. You're basically saying Xavier Leggett a first, two seconds, a third and fourth. So more than an entire year's draft and Xavier Leggett for Amon Ross St. Brown. And it's like, bro, I, I would rather have Xavier Leggett in those picks, but sure. Okay. Brent. Really highly values Fergie, but he does get Leggett in a second, so I could probably see Brent doing that. You insist on me doing this. I keep considering it. In the, in the other offer, it was uh, Amari Cooper, a first, second, and fourth, so I would probably want to do something like that rather than settling for this, but I have been considering basically this trade. So we'll we'll have to see. I haven't decided on it. It actually expires in like three hours, so I'll have to probably decide soon. Uh, Max. Max would probably prefer Kasiki. Oh, he would definitely prefer Kasiki and a third. Yeah, Max wouldn't do it. Yeah. The wager won't trade Amon Ra, but we'll look at it. He gets two. Oh, shit. Two firsts and Brian Thomas. That's about as fair as you can make it. Honest. I, I mean, like, I would, I would do it. I would do this. So that's interesting. But I don't know what Wager would think about that. Um, Luke. Luke already said no. But getting Jordan Mason and Goddard. I mean, Goddard's better than likely, so I don't know what the fuck he's doing there. So he's upgrading at tight end. Upgrading from a fifth to a fourth. At the cost, allegedly, right? If the other two are upgrades, then this must be a downgrade. At the cost of a second for Jordan Mason, which he literally just did in the other Dynasty League, so he clearly values it. So I'm very surprised that Luke wouldn't do this. I, I would do it, and I'm not even big on Jordan Mason. Because honestly, I would, I would look at it as a second for Dallas Goddard at this point. Though I, I do see that Kenny's trying to sell Goddard high, so... Yeah. Um, where am I in this trade? Did I already go past me? Oh, I already went past me with AJ Brown. Um, so he gets Brees Hall on a third for Pacheco and a one and two. No, I don't. He definitely would do it, I would say, for Pacheco and a two. Well, okay, like, take out the third. I think he would do Pacheco and a two for Brees. I don't know that he'd do Pacheco and a one for Brees let alone Pacheco and a one and a two. Like, Pacheco and a one and downgrading a two to the next year. I don't, I don't think he would do that. And then Jake gets Trey Tucker. That feels random. 
Brees Hall for a first and two seconds. Honestly, your better bet is take Trey Tucker out and upgrade one of the seconds to a first. Because I think Jake probably would trade Brees Hall for two firsts in a second. Especially with how he's looked so far this season. But obviously that affects eight other teams in the trade. <laughs> Wait, just says I would do it in a heartbeat. Offer that shit right now. Two firsts, Brian Thomas for Amin Ra. And I'm skipping Trey Tucker in the fifth, but I mean, there's thirds, fourths, and fifths kind of value, so it's whatever. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't do it. And Luke already said he wouldn't do it. And I'm already saying that Max and my dad wouldn't do it. And I'm questionable on Jake doing it. I already, I've said JP probably wouldn't. <laughs> so pretty much that leaves like... I already said Max wouldn't do it. So that pretty much leaves Brent, who would probably do it. Basically, Kenny and Brent would accept this, and Wager would accept this trade. I also skipped Trey Tucker. <laughs> Bye. Oh, you just straight offered it. Brian Thomas and two firsts for Amon Ra. Uh, it's impossible to balance out a trade this big. I wanted to mess with the idea of making a nine-team trade, and that's what I was able to come up with. Yeah. It's already expired. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, you've convinced me probably not, but I like messing with the idea of it, yeah. I've been doing good, Fast Miner. I've been just cruising on these streams, though. Just straight cruising. Chess flashcards and all that jazz. Some city skylines. Just vibing. It's been good stuff. Missing streams just for the fun of it. It's been good stuff. Setting up a merch store. You talking about that big... Did you offer that big trade? Wait, no, Rashid Shahid wasn't even in that trade. You're talking about something else. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of... Oh, yeah, Thursday Night Football. Cool, already getting cooked. <laughs> Thanks, Drake London. I had a feeling I should have started Bucky Irving. Bucky Irving is taking that job from Rashad White. No fucking questions asked. Oh, Thursday Night Football is like halfway done. Sounds like Percy's coming down here in a second. <laughs> it's going good. I'm and Ron Kenneth Walker for Brian Thomas. Three firsts in a second. I might do it if you drop the second. Three firsts and Brian Thomas for I'm and Ron Ken Walker. Dude, you're gonna ruin the competitive balance of the league. I didn't see the three first. I only thought it was two. Fuck no, not for three firsts. Wait, so you were trying to do Brian Thomas and two firsts for both of them? No. Oh. And you wouldn't do it, <laughs> Brian Thomas, two firsts and a second for both of them? That's kind of wild. To be fair, Wager, he didn't quite offer Brian Thomas in two firsts for Amon Ra. There was the Trey Tucker in that. So. Um. Dooby, dooby, doob. Who am I going against? Oh, cool. Young Wei Koo's already got two field goals. No. Wait, what? Oh, it just counts it, like, twice. That's weird. You have going two extra points. I was offering for the experience. Dang, get cooked. I guess I'll throw him in. Oh my god. Who is scoring all these touchdowns? Why are they all against me? <laughs> That's what I'd be doing, girly.
That's crazy. How do I just go to the bottom of the league chat? I don't know how to do that. Dude, I think Evans having two touchdowns is gonna fucking piss me off. Who the f- Alright, are we just gonna- Is this just gonna be a fucking shootout? It's 17-17 at halftime. Not even halftime. Not even close to halftime. Oh, that's hilarious. Kyle Pitts is actually going to have to sit on. <laughs> Kyle Pitts is going to have to sit on waivers. Yeah, until Wednesday. That's funny. Uh, I'm going to just place this. So that I don't forget. I don't fucking know. Honestly, fucking. Because <laughs> I, I would do that. Oh, there we go. Rashad White's alive. <laughs> Makes it look like he's not having a dog shit day. Even though Bucky Irving's still got two for 27. Dude, Bucky Irving's actually the real deal. I can't believe I only have him on redraft, though. Wait, no, I got him in this league. No, I didn't. I tried to get him in the other redraft league. Yeah, I tried trading Derek Carr to Fox for Bucky Irving. Fox didn't do it. Here goes Mike Evans with touchdown number three. You guys ready? Al wait. Oh no, they actually just kicked the field goal. Okay. It's not a no, wait, what? This is Falcons. Where are all the Bucks plays? This is just not this is just update updated like one drive at a time. What is this? This is stupid. It's fucking second and one at the goal. Good lose wagers. We can't think it's gonna be unbelievably humiliating. That'd be fine. No chance I'd lose if you took away Amon Ra and K9. <laughs> new uh new dynasty strategy just dropped. Continue to trade with the person you're up against, giving draft picks to take their players nonstop. Oh yo, shout out. Wager with the quickness. I didn't even notice that. Um no. <laughs> Sorry, clip slice. Different bag of Doritos and David Johnson. What are we talking about? Wait, what is this going on about? What the fuck just happened to the last four minutes of game time? Is this just gonna not show that? <laughs> okay. All right. It's just we're not gonna worry about that. We'll be surprised by it later when it comes up. It was a fantasy MVP just a few years ago. Worth taking a shot on. Isn't he retired? Isn't he like actually retired? Like, didn't I hear that this offseason or something? Okay. Let's do some flashcards. The first couple cards should be the new ones that I had today. So it's effectively like you guys didn't miss anything because I basically just like only did the new cards. Uh, wait, what? Notice what? Uh, I was just saying. Yeah, there's like, it'd be a new card. Not, not that they give a fuck. I'm sure I just like talk <laughs> while they watch me do flashcards. They're not actually here for the flashcards. So, it caused me so much pain when the Texas traded for him. He was that dude in fantasy for a while. He was one of like the original, like, I don't want to say original because obviously it's kind of been around the NFL for a while. But in terms of like fantasy value, he was one of the OG dual threat halfbacks. Like, again, obviously that's been, but like properly, like he was getting receptions per game. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, he was CMC before CMC. He was that dude for one season and basically died the next year. I thought he had two. Maybe I'm crazy. Percy, we gotta show you off, man. Why are you running away? You don't want to be on camera? <laughs> Come here, big guy. Come here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got that fresh collar on. Oh, yeah. I gotta pose it up so they see. Oh, yeah, 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 baby. Oh, look at him posing it up. You look so good, man. Uh. Oh, yeah. He is like, he got his head up in the air. He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, come here. Oh, wait, wrong side. So he looks good. Probably could raise it. I didn't really realize that. Oh, wait. It's not straight. It's like mostly straight. But it's not technically straight. <sighs> Where the fuck is the Percy Treat Rocks Redemption? Oh my god. Um, yeah, so on the medium, the logo runs out right at the very end. So no matter how big your dog is, if, you, if he fits into the medium, he's good to go. But if you need a large and you start pulling it further than the medium would have been, then yeah, it could start to start to show the, the white part without the logo. Percy! Come here! What are you doing? Percy, come here! Come here! Come here! Yeah, yes, it. Yes, it. He's cutie. I'm looking. He had two seasons, it looks like he was good. And then he was just awful the rest of his career. Yeah. The other Texas halfback that used to piss me off was uh, Lamar Miller. I was big on I had him on my fantasy team when he was in Miami, and he had a good season, I think, if I recall correctly. Um, and then I, I remember having him in Miami and having him in Houston, and I think I remember being disappointed when he was in Houston. And then I like looked back on the year, and I was like, actually, I guess he really wasn't that bad. Hold on. Let me... Miller. Um, shout out to like the first picture showing up being him throwing a football. Oh, he actually bounced around for a while after that. He played for the Washington football team. Nice. Um, yeah, so I had him in Miami. I think I was so disappointed when he went to Houston. No, maybe I was disappointed the next year in Miami. I don't know. I remember being disappointed, but now looking at his stats, like, he kind of did the same thing. Like, he pretty much ran for, I mean, literally 870 to whatever, under 1,100 yards. I guess it could have been his second year in Houston, where he only had three touchdowns. But he had three receiving touchdowns, so still six, which is as many as the year before and after. But I guess it's not the 9 or 10 that he had in Miami. I don't know. I remember being really disappointed with him one year because he like, had a split backfield and just didn't get the touches. It seemed. It may have been the full three years in a row. I may have had him in Miami and liked it and then had him in Miami and hated it because he only had 870 yards, I guess. And then had him in Houston again. And I was like, you know what? I guess he's been fine. But then just didn't get him after that. <laughs> you and me both, he wasn't great. I was happy when Alfred Blue came in to run the ball. Nice. No, the one that I would die on the hill of, and apparently so did he, um, was Arian Foster. He was the first person that I kept picking up in, in fantasy and just kept getting injured, and I... He was he was the original uh, 
who was who was the dude that just retired from the Browns that got suspended and like never played and injured Josh Gordon. He was my first Josh Gordon. Where I just kept picking him in fantasy and it kept not fucking working. Um because yeah, I had him I guess I must have had him in Houston. Yeah, I think I I probably had him like all four years in a row. Maybe I maybe I had him this la this uh his last good year here in Houston. And then I had him the next year and he got hurt and I was like, Yeah, but he was good when he got hurt. And then I had him again, and like with the 200 less yards and the seven less touchdowns. Well, I guess four less touchdowns. I was, it was kind of the Lamar Miller situation where I was like, hey, he was all right, I guess. And then he was dog shit after that. Oh, they like kind of swapped. <laughs> I didn't realize that. that. He went to play for Miami in 2016. Um,. Yeah, oh my god, they literally just swapped. Lamar Miller played for Miami in 2015 and then went to Houston in 16. Whereas Arian Foster played for Houston in 2015 and went to Miami in 16. That's hilarious. I never knew that. They literally just... Uh, who's the team that just did that recently? Oh, they didn't swap. No, I was getting it mixed up with the, the uh, Packers and Vikings. But the Packers sent Josh Jacobs to. No, no, no. Sorry. Got Josh Jacobs from Oakland. But sent the guy over to Vikings. And the Vikings got. No, sent Madison to Oakland. Or Las Vegas. That's what it was. So it was kind of a three way swap. So not quite the same thing, but. Interesting. I didn't know that was something that could happen. <laughs> Jay fucking Ajayi. That's how you sell it, yeah. It was him. When healthy, he was so damn good. I was just thinking about him. He actually was in the NFL for a while. He, he like only recently retired. It was like 2022 or something. Maybe 2021. But he was last good in like 2016. Um, I think he was in the NFL still. He just never played a snap in like 2020 and 2021. But yeah, he was that dude in Miami. When Arian Foster stopped playing football. <laughs> For one season though. Oh my God. What a hilarious like fluke. Oh no, I guess he was good in 2017. He put up 870 yards. With only three touchdowns, though. Four with the receiving. But he, I guess he only had four in Miami. Wait. His... Okay, no. This is not accurate. What is this? Is this supposed to be fumbles? Touchdowns and fumbles? That's probably what it was. That's probably touchdowns and fumbles. That's hilarious, though. His longest run in 2017 was zero yards. <laughs> You're older than I expected. I'm literally in college. Um, Ryan Foster was so good forever, though, so he doesn't count. Not forever. He definitely had injury problems every fucking year. First ever Texans jersey. I like that. You just pick Cooper Cup. Uh, before he was the cup we now know. I used to spam him in the third round of drafts when I was in middle school. <laughs> Love that. I need to go through some of my old fantasy football teams at some point on here. I had Tom Brady when he set all those records, so that was fun. That was like the first year I did fantasy. Um, it was me literally having record-setting, undefeated Tom Brady as my quarterback. All right. Uh, so Bishop B5, and I'm going to start to probably try and default that in positions that look like this in the Karo Khan, where they 
get to this position and then just play some bum ass move. I'm probably except for a6. I'll probably just play bishop b5. But I'll have to force that. Uh what are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about more? Oh, this is d4. Um that might take a second to learn, but I really really fuck with it, so I'm gonna g6. This is one of the not new cards that I got wrong earlier today. Uh, this is a transposition c6. So it's technically new, but not really. Bishop, or sorry, rook h8, which is the answer to what I already said would be happening yesterday. This is bishop takes h2, and I still don't understand it. I got two moves of this puzzle correct, and I do not understand what the follow-up is if he just goes king g2. Like, do I just trade the queen and take the two pieces against the rook and tell myself I'm better even though I'm down two pawns? Like... Because I can't get, I can't take h3 if he just goes king g2. And I can't spend a move to walk the king out of the pin because A, he'll just take the bishop with the rook and then take the queen. But also B, he'll just take the queen. So it's like he just goes king g2 and I don't know what the follow up is. But I got that right, so whatever. Uh, queen b8 feels pretty obvious. You just go rook d2 on the next move. Uh, you saw I just pick Packers players. I think I'd always try and win with Melvin Gordon because he went to Wisconsin. Nice. Uh, hold on. It's an Italian. Two pawns out, but he castled, so I won't. So I'll play a5. Check. I never remember which B the knight goes to. Oh, no, this is... I'm going to say bishop check. Okay, well, got that wrong. There's one where it's like that, where the bishop checks. This is rook h5. It's basically just forcing the opponent into Zugzwang, but I don't know why it has to be h5 specifically. Whatever. Um, fake sack the bishop. Bishop a6, even though it is actually sacking the bishop because the king takes it. D5? That's annoying. I, I had a feeling it was something like that. It felt correct to, like, block the bishop out, but I didn't realize it was E5 because it isn't really necessary to block the bishop out, but I guess it kind of is. Um, bishop D3. Cool. Free rope. Bishop d3. Knight c. No. Wait. Sometimes when they play g3 in the English, it's pinning the knight. Sometimes it's knight c3. I'm going to play knight c3 even though I don't know when it should be the bishop instead. Yeah, I don't... Fully know when it'll be the bishop. Uh, this is just bishop c4. Not really much you can do about that. Uh, this just feels like bishop f4. Cool. I don't really know why I'm still learning that card. Uh, knight g5. I'm really curious what the transposition is there. Uh, queen h3. He loses the queen and gets mated. Bishop d3. You guys are just talking trades and shit. Okay. Uh, F3, which is kind of annoying. I don't really know what to do with this pawn structure after the bishop moves back. Other than, I guess, probably continue to kick it and just vibe. Uh, it's bishop... Bishop E3. Fuck. I thought I only pressed it if he played e5. Okay, I'll have to learn that one. Uh, white? 
King F6? I don't remember what the follow-up is to that. I'm starting to get to the point where some of those uh, cards are not easy to remember. Bishop D2, even though they were easy the first time around. Queen E7. H4. Catch up on chat here. I would overturn the trade so fast if I sent you Brian Thompson to first for Amon Ra. There's changing competitive balance advantage of the lead and then there's insider trading, which I think is what we'd be doing. I don't think that that's what insider trading means, but... I forgot you were first. Oh, I already have it. What if we just combine both trades? Amon Ra. For two, for first and second, and K9 for first and second. And Brian Thomas. Just fucking casually throw him in there. <laughs> B. John Robinson and Brian Thomas, uh, you're off your marbles. What an absolutely batshit trade wager. At some point, you can't get enough value out of a single draft wager. You have to hold on to somebody else. Right, you guys, I think you guys are talking past each other. <clears throat> Alright, I'm not fully sick of this yet, so I don't need to knock out a game of chess to get myself back into it. Kind of feeling myself here. Uh... Probably F3. Cool. D5. I remember getting that wrong yesterday. Or two days ago. Uh, Bishop D3. That one's got a fun, like, step sibling. Because it's not like a transition. It's not like actually a sibling. It's technically a completely different opening, but it ends up looking almost the same. Um... So Italian, where he hasn't castled, castle. Got it. Black, queen, e4. Checkmate. Cool. C5? Yeah, even though it probably should be the knight move, but let's see if I can get used to it without having to change it. Uh, F3. Yeah, that's fair. F3 is kind of begging to be played in that opening. Uh, knight, b5. Yeah, I got that wrong yesterday. For the same reason I got the other one that was knight b5, or knight b3 wrong earlier today, because there is a card where the bishop goes out, but I don't know what it is. d5. Bishop c. Uh, I think it's queen check. No, you bring the knight out first, and then when he brings the bishop out, then it's queen check? Yeah. Ugh, because I had learned this card far enough to learn its child, because the answer is just fucking knight c3. It's not a big deal. <sighs> that fucking sucks. That's the problem with, like, learning so many different variations is... Bishop e3? That's a pretty tough one. Maybe I can get used to it though. Uh, knight g4. Played this in the game the other day, so I have its child now. c5, but I don't like that. e5, only because I got that wrong yesterday. Uh, why didn't he take the pawn? What a weird move. Yeah, it's just B4. Whoa! Why the fuck would I play that? Just kick the queen for free! 
Now I'm actually losing. Oh no, now I'm not losing the sea pawn because I'm baiting it. Fuck, that's right. Shit. I like that. I gotta keep that. I gotta learn that. That's a good one. Uh, pin. Do nothing. D5. Which is just hilariously annoying. Um. F4. Fuck! Fuck! It's normally F4 in situations like that. I don't know how to describe it, but ones that make me think they look like that. But there are some where it's H4. There's like two of them where it's H4 that are weird like that. Fuck my ass. That one's annoying. Uh, take knight. That one's a relatively new one. Uh, knight C. That one's actually transposition. Of one that I know better than that. Blow it up. Don't let him pin you. Knight C. Uh, free rook. Uh, with the rook. With check. That leads to mate on the next move. Probably could have clarified that. Bishop D3. Take the knight. Got that one wrong, I think, twice yesterday. Oh, bishop e3. Yeah, I'm begging for that one to be bishop f4, but whatever. I'm going to have to blow up a toilet here in a little bit. a5, because it's as if he's castled because he played h3, which is in prep for a castle. Bishop d3, because I hilariously get that wrong all the fucking time. Uh, mate, knight e6. Not taking the free pawn. Though it's probably not a terrible move. Block with the knight? Cool. Wow, that toilet's about to get blown up a little faster than I thought. Knight c. Push. Oh, uh, D5. That actually definitely deserves clarification. <laughs> uh, Knight C. Couple interesting options there. Knight C. Alright, we're pausing after this one. Bishop C4? Cool. I'll be in chat. Oh, what a secret going up here.
What up? Jeez, I got so much hair. Oh shit. I still have my audio on because I still stream up on my phone. I'm a little annoyed because I definitely got favorite. I just need to get this off this chair. Um, I got a bunch of the fuzzies from this shirt on it since it's the first time it's been worn. It hasn't like uh, uh, gotten a bunch of the fuzzies off, and now it has all over my hoodie. That's white. <laughs> so Aaron's in Hawaii for this week, just on vacation. And so I just texted him. I was like, I imagine watching the Falcons while in Hawaii is the only sane way to handle that team. <laughs> About to beat Kenny this week. I'm going to laugh. Because Bijan's doing nothing. You do have three people going, and I mean, I guess, yeah, you have 30 points, but Mooney with the incompletion. I'm very happy that Mike Evans has shut the fuck up for at least like five minutes of this game. To be honest, I really didn't even consider playing Ray Ray McLeod, which is kind of annoying because the only reason I have him on, on my team is like for this year. So if I'm not gonna, even going to consider playing him, I probably should just drop him. I'm so happy I got rid of she Rashid Shahid in Dynasty for a second. I didn't think it was going to happen. And the fact that Max accepted it makes me feel like I probably could have got more. <laughs> Gonna be absolutely livid when it happens. Not the trade big play. What happened? I hate that Twitch gives you an ad every single time you have to, that you reload. I love that they do it. I'm just kidding. I don't even know that I really get that money. Like, I guess legally I do. I'm gonna pull it up while you guys can't see. Shout out to the stream manager on Twitch is just absolute is an absolute just cesspool of I don't even fucking know what absolute mayhem I, I like I've, I've just pulled it out. it's just fucking madness I have no idea what the fuck I'm looking at half the things I can like probably X out of or minimize yeah I can dismiss or minimize like half of them and it's across like five or six different sections on the screen with different sidebars and shit. Um, why am I here? Money. Actually, I haven't looked at the analytics of my stream in a while. I technically export it every day, but I haven't really like looked at that. Um. I guess I do get ad revenue. Hold on, let me just click like last seven days. Yes, I had a paid sub Tuesday. Who the fuck paid subbed on Tuesday? Is that Wagers Prime? But it doesn't say Prime Sub. Does someone re up it? Was it Q? Does Q re up a paid sub? I didn't know that I had people that did that. Because it's been. A long time without. Oh, why does it? Oh, that's lame. I, uh. 
with everything I was fucking around with stream yesterday, I have a new like activity feed and uh it actually went all the way back. I'm talking all the way the fuck back. Like back multiple years on follows and actually all the way back on like tips and things like that. Um which first off, shout out to Rai who I forgot uh donated 10 bucks like when he first joined stream. Uh which is funny. Uh, but now I can't scroll all the way back to that. I don't know why. Uh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Anyway, uh, turn off follows real quick. Bitch. Turn it off. What are we talking about? Oh, I didn't hit save. That one's on me. Okay, now it goes back a ways again. Yeah, it says the last time someone tier 1 subbed was Aiden's four months ago. And then Nano five months before that. But then Q did tier 1 sub for 53 months, 10 months ago. So if he's kept it up for that whole time, then it really might just be probably Q. Oh, fuck, there it is. Okay, I don't want it to do that again, though. <laughs> I, like, undid and re-put the followers in. Like, I took the followers out and put them back into the feed, and it kind of went fucking crazy, so... Uh, what the fuck is the filter? Why does it say one? Oh, is it... Is it this? No, fuck you. No, fuck you. Fuck you. Jesus, wept. I guess that's good. Um, sorry. I just don't even know what the fuck was happening. Kenny had almost four years follow age. <laughs> Say he's gonna sign Tay. He's gonna look so dumb. I'm all paid off. And don't plan on paying anything more until I get my MBA. I've just decided I'm going to get a PhD and become a professor of this, of fantasy football. This one, I was on my way to five years. May 12th, 2015. What are we talking about? I'll be coming up on a year. Or a year, a decade. <laughs> coming up on a decade stream. A couple months, I mean, half a year away, but still. April 26th, I think. Um, I don't know what the fuck... What's Turbo? Does anyone know what Turbo is? Apparently, on September 27th, I got 5 cents of Turbo. And 20 cents of ads. Oh, is Turbo when someone pays for... Like, the... Like, the Twitch... Like, not getting... The ad-free Twitch. And so I get 5 cents from Turbo as if they had watched an ad. Interesting. Oh boy. <laughs> on my birthday, which I guess would have been late on Sunday's stream, uh, I got one penny in turbo revenue. One penny. Some naughty things for you to hear. Okay, Major. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. <laughs> Twitch's way of saying happy birthday? Exactly. Here's a penny of turbo. You earned it, man. Uh, E5. We're getting on and not moves. Knight B3. Uh. D5. I don't really know how I'm going to learn that one other than just continue to get it wrong for a while here. Knight C. H4. F4. Bishop C4?
Bishop f5. I don't really know how I'm going to remember that. Probably just going to not. Knight f. Cool. I don't really know why I'm wearing that still. H3. That was frankly a guess. Uh, kick it? Can I kick it? Take the knight. You got a fork coming up. It's not d5. It's queen e7. It would be very easy for me to forget that one in a not long time. Oh! Bishop b5? No, that was today's card. Okay. I was like, have I seen this transposition before? Knight d7. It's kind of a fun one. Wait, who won't be in the league in seven years? Will you send me AJ Brown? Oh, he won't be in the league. You're saying AJ Brown won't be in the league in seven years? He could be. We'll be good, though. He also doesn't need to be seven years from now. He's. Oh. Kind of does. Six and some change. Um, D5. That shouldn't have taken me as long as it did. D4. We all said that about Gino Smith seven years ago. Look where we are now. Uh, Night C. Booty, booty, beep. G3? Q, Q, Q. Why do I feel like it's not Castle? I feel like it's either F6 or Bishop E6. But I'm mean, really annoyed if it's not castle, so castle. Okay. Alright. Um Queen H2. Castle. Rook sack on H6. Bishop D3. C3, G6, Bishop C5, I was considering pinning it, Knight F, It's pin, but I want it to be to take the pawn. Yeah. Mark that is hard. Because I don't really know why it's not taking the pawn. Uh, knight d4. f6. Uh, castle. That one's tough because there's one that looks just like that where it's knight b5. But whatever. Knight c? No. Knight f. Knight takes. Bishop f2. 
I need some of that. Just you. <laughs> so it's like no power. Night F. Free night. Bishop G5? That's a tough one. Holy shit. I was not confident in that. Bishop B5. Oh. I need to change that card. Like, I need to, like, prepare everything that I can prepare on stream and then. Just fucking change it after. Uh, C5. C5. Yeah, that one card I was just complaining about might be the worst card in this deck. F4. Bishop d4. Yeah, and then you kink e7. Bishop d3. That's crazy. That's only a month. Oh, fuck that card. That's like an original card. I have been learning that card since like January, possibly December. D6. Some of the King's Gambit ones are crazy as shit. Uh, Knight D6. I'm feeling like playing chess. E4. I don't understand that one, actually, now that I think about it. Doesn't he just put the rook in front of it and then I just lose it? Oh, no, then I play the other pawn and kick the bishop. That's pretty cool. And that buys me time to castle. No, because I still haven't moved my Dark Sword Bishop. I don't understand that one. Uh, Queen E3. That one shouldn't have taken me as long as it did, but I was ranting. Bishop F. E5? That's a yellow flag. Orange, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Because it probably should be C5. I don't know, I'm just confusing myself now. Uh, Queen C1. H6. Knight G E seven. Take the bishop. Bishop B five. I'm on a roll right now, though. Bishop D three. Really doing really good today. It's either Queen E7 or Castles. I'm going to say... Queen E7. Fuck! Damn it! <laughs> Rookie 8. Bishop C5?
Oh, take the pawn with the knight. This one's crazy. Because it's a free pawn once you get the bishop back. Knight a3? Cool. E5. F4. Stuffy. B4. What are we talking about? Feels easy. I'll hopefully learn that child here soon. Uh, take it. The fuck is this opening? Blow it up. C4. Uh, Rook H1. This is actually the parent of the one we saw earlier. Bishop check. Take the pawn. That one's tough. Uh, take the queen. And then push the pawn and promote. Bishop c4. I'm gonna finish up these cards. And one fell swoop. Bishop e6. Queen e2. Kick it. Kick it. H6? Cool. Queen E7. Knight C. Mate with the queen. I think I got this wrong when I said to take the pawn. H6. It's kind of weird. So I'm going to take back with the queen and d4 and I hate it. h3 and I hate it. All right, and then we're on to the wrong cards. Knight f. Oh, knight C, but fuck that. Castle. Okay. H4. Almost said F4 again, that would have been funny. F4. Knight C. E5. Knight B3. D5. Cool, cool, cool. Dang, I did those cards quick. I got nine minutes till the next card. Normally it says eight, and even that's quick. 7% again rate? I'm cracked, bro. I don't know if you guys can see it, so all that. Whoa, what did I miss? Whoa. Oh, no, it's not that crazy. Like 20, 30 first for it. What's up, Santita? Christmas sweater, baby.
Exclamation point merch. And it's like not expensive. And it's like actually threaded on it. Like that's that's the thread of the shirt. Like It's sick, dude. It's sick. There's also polos with the embroidered logo on there. It's good shit, dude. Pet collar. Mugs, gaming mouse pad, stickers, magnets. All good shit up in there. All good shit. The only thing I can't attest to is a t-shirt because I just straight don't wear t-shirts. So I literally didn't buy one. But I would assume it's basically the same thing as a long sleeve, so... And the long sleeve's good. Um, in my opinion, it's actually better quality than the last merch store, so if you ever got merch from there... Say it's not expensive. Alright, that was 1, 2, 3 million Vietnamese dong. Make it make sense. Shouts of Vietnamese currency being called dong. Do online now, guys. Yeah, we're just gonna binge Vsauce uh, YouTube shorts together. I binged a fuck ton of them the other day. Like an embarrassing amount of them the other day. Uh, okay, we're almost to the point where I can actually have a fucking graph again down here. This is when I added all of the uh, puzzles. And the day before it was even worse. <laughs> Because normally 26 is like a crazy amount of cards. 28. So. It says I've added 34 cards a day, but. 80% of that is this. It's probably more like 7 cards a day. Which is more than I'm learning. I'm adding 7 cards a day and only picking out 6 of them. And frankly, I'm adding seven openings per day and only pulling out three of them. Because I am actually cutting down on the... Oh, I guess I can do this. Fuck you. Yeah, so I'm adding nine cards a day on this. Okay. Um, yeah, and only pulling three out. So holy shit, this is like growing a lot. Admittedly, I've played a lot of fucking chess in the past month. I've played, well, I've already played 37 games this month or something like that. Well, I, the last, the first two days of the month. So I've been <laughs> almost like 20 games a day the last two days. I've uh, had some free time. Yeah, suspended count has climbed steadily since i chopped it down to only three new cards a day and the new card count is also climbed steadily as well but the mature counts climbed but just less steadily 1300 mature cards is pretty fucking wild especially having seen 450 uh or having seen 1750 will i see 2000 by pi night And therefore be at, like, over 1,500 mature cards. Will I see 250 more between now and then? 60 days? Almost. Fuck, I'm gonna have to crank it up. How many days till Pi Night? What is it, November 27th is Pi Night? Yeah. So I got 27 days. So let's, let's call it 26, because I would want to get there before Pi Night. 26 plus... 31 minus 3 plus 28. 26 to 28 is 54. Yeah. It's 54 days. I need to almost do 5 cards per day. Almost. I really don't want to, though. <laughs> Fuck. 5 cards a day is kind of getting up there. It's gonna really bother me. But you know what? We gotta crank it into gear. Pi Night's coming up. Let's learn it. Settings. 
for uh yeah options here for yeah openings color is five new cards a day so it should oh whoops no not open i need this to be three oh wait got it do openings color to limit at like yeah openings color should limit at five per day because if i ever kick it up to ten oh no kick it up to ten per day save but then go to color openings and this one's the one that caps it at three so let's up this to five. Oh, it's gonna make me see two new cards fuck i should have done it at the end of the day well shit Whatever. <laughs> Castle. Cool. Castle. Cool. That was hard. <laughs> yeah. Ray McLeod wearing 34 is so weird. He's the goat, man. F3 team. That's what we were all considering. Individual trades for considering, just put it all together. I don't know why every time I see him run around, it reminds me of Rashad Mendenhall. It's just a short 34 running around. <laughs> Isn't it Rashad Mendenhall? A R D? Pretty sure it was. All right. Get five new cards a day from the opening deck and then three from puzzles. So where is that gonna put me on puzzles though? Um, nice, I was three for three of mature cards today. No agains. I like that. Just straight up hundred percent accuracy. We haven't fully filled this out yet though. Which I guess is fair, because I'm only pulling three cards a day. I don't really know that I'm ever going to fill this out. You know, it's like. I guess I'm trying to figure this out. Will it ever like fill out? Because in theory, this will go higher for sure. Yeah, I guess it should fill out a little bit more. And this will. Balance. I don't know. Actually, very see how that'll plan out. Because it's only been a little over a month that I've been doing this, so it's it shouldn't be like plateau. Yeah, like I only had twelve reviews the last couple of days, basically. I don't know. Uh, what was I scrolling on this for? Oh yeah, I see how many I've seen. So I've seen. 155 yeah 155 cards already and in the what did we say it was it will be 55 cards kind of well no 54 days yeah 54 days times 3 Let's see like 150 more cards so I'm halfway there so I'll have like 300 cards puzzles seen by Pinite. That's fine. I'm just gonna leave that. Yeah. 300 of the 3,700. But by the time next year rolls around, I'll have seen 1,300. I'll have seen like a third of the puzzles by next year's Pinite. And I might even kick it up at that point. Try and finish them all by the next year. That'd be cool as shit. Start doing like six or seven puzzles a day. Because it shouldn't be hard. And honestly, doing more puzzles per day will make it harder for me to remember all of them. So it'll make it a little bit more like, I guess, actually studying. I'll have to put some. Yeah, average difficulty is just not hard. I just keep saying good on everything. I haven't really ever scrolled through these numbers yet. I've literally gotten every mature card hey, correct. I doubt it. 
Okay. Oh, I've only seen four. Cool. The fact that I've seen four is kind of crazy. I've seen four mature cards. In the last... little over a month. Which means I pushed it to mature in, like, less than a week. And then it was exactly 21 days, which I then saw and matured, which I can get here. Yeah. Okay, so the first mature card that I saw was just two days ago. And then I saw three today. Kind of crazy. Let's browse on puzzles real quick. Um, next Thursday, Seahawks Diners. That should be a good game. That will be. I will not be streaming. I don't think there's a way anyone says no to this trade. Am I supposed to pull it up? <laughs> You're assuming that I want to get rid of Aunt AJ Brown. I'm going to say Antonio Brown. That's just worse than the other offer I had earlier. I used to be getting a 1, 2, and 4. With Amari Cooper for AJ Brown. Also, just do your shit separately. This does not need to be a three way. Just solve your Kenneth Walker shit. Why am I a part of this? Let me think about it. Times change? Oh, well, I'm definitely not doing it. <laughs> I'm not taking a trade that I know is worse than what I had the opportunity to do earlier when I already am not sure I wanted to do that. Which, I know I pull that card on you guys, but it's like, for me, it's like, alright, like, I guess that's just the end of the negotiation. Like, I will think about one, two, four, and Cooper, and if I feel good about it, I will send that offer. And if you want to decline it then, feel free. But, I'm not even sure I want to do that. The fourth isn't really a big deal, but... Dude, what the fuck is happening in this game? How many touchdowns are there? It's only three per team, I guess. Mooney's got two and London's got one. Evan's got two. Oh, and fucking Sterling Shepard. Hell yeah, brother. Pull your career together. I love it. Why is he getting reps now? What is this? Oh, the two rookies are out. Uh. Oh, Palmer's not a rookie. I guess he was a rookie last year. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, fucking Kirk with 350, dude. He's about to throw like 500 yards. I'm saying it. Because he's about to dr like drive the ball here. Oh, third and two. Uh oh. Oh, with minus three. Wait, minus two, minus three. What are we done? Oh, oh, so he wasn't actually about to drive the field because they just scored. Gotcha. That's why I said touchdown, Mooney. Hey, you know what? That makes sense. I always forget what to do here. Uh, probably just castle, right? Took me longer than it should have. Okay, but I know it's not this. I played that wrong earlier. I think it's this. No, but that's just the same thing. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. Oh! Uh. Sure. All right, now we're on our own, so we don't have to spend time trying to remember book, which he's clearly not spending time on. I'm going to go here. 
Yeah, here. Here. I have to. It'd be a bad time for it. Well, no, I guess he could still play it. No, that's stupid. Is he gonna hop here if I move the knight? The Columbus variation. Uh. Oh, I don't want to take that pun. Uh, I don't know, man. Feels like a fine move, I guess. Kind of want to go here. Kind of want to go here. Not really sure. Oh. Okay, no, never mind. Pawn's hanging. I'll probably push it. That'd be stupid. Probably go here then, I guess. Or here. Yeah, I'll probably go queen d3. People in this kind of position do that shit all the time. I know that because I've gotten mated by it like 7 million fucking times. Because I'm stupid, I, like, if that wasn't abundantly clear. I'm kind of surprised he hasn't already played it. I mean, it's kind of just like a... Oh, I guess because then I'll play knight e5 and he's considering if he even wants to do that. But no, I... Whoa! Oh, I see. Can't take the knight. Well, I could take the knight. And then when he tries to take this, saying, haha, two pieces are hanging, I'll take this with check. And I'll take that. And then this pawn's still hanging. Yeah, I like that. And if he takes this, then I'll just take back, I guess. Whoa. Wasn't expecting that. Oh shit. Oh, that's fine. He'll play e5, but I don't really care. Yo, that's cracked. Wait a second, though. That doesn't work. I guess. I was gonna play that and I just realized I can't play that uh wait yeah I can Sick. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! Well, I didn't consider that. <laughs> Definitely losing. That's a weird move. Am I about to get dicked down? Yeah, probably. I 
Yeah. Uh. Sucks. Quit moving so fast. I don't like it. I don't have the time, I just have to trade this down. He's probably not gonna do it, he'll probably go like... There, I guess. Fuck does that do? You gonna take the pawn? Okay, it's whatever. Does that work? Huh. No? But, whatever. It's annoying. Go here anyway. Oh fuck. Don't like that at all. I literally have four pawn islands. Ooh. Don't like that either. Oh shit. I just had to move the knight. This is not good. I wanted to put the knight here, but I couldn't do it without hanging the other knight. Oh shit. Oh, there's that. I just gotta move. This isn't gonna be an actual real game of chess. Oh, fuck, I could've... Taking this. Uh, well, no, not necessarily. Whatever. Could try it. That's fun. Uh, shit. Oh. That was a good move. I don't know if he knew it, but that was a fucking good move. He's 1800, so I kind of have to assume he did. Oh, did he hang a fork? I could win that. Five seconds on the clock. Just up a clean night. All my pawns on dark squares. I win that, especially when he's got two seconds. I win on time, honestly. Fuck, dude. That's like all I had to do was look at the checks and I looked at the free pawn and just moved. Ugh, fuck. I was like 200 points up, too. <sighs> yeah, I reached 1600 earlier today. Uh, I forget. Let's go here. I think that's right. And I think I get away with this. Oh wait. Oh shit, should I have done that first? Oh, fuck you. Uh, yeah, I think I fucked that up. Oh no, so I supposed to play that? I don't know, doesn't matter. Didn't do it, whatever it was. <laughs> I think you were supposed to do that. Oh no, because I take this. And also, you can't take that. <laughs> you probably just castle. I don't know if you know that. You probably just castle.
there's a position sort of like this that wasn't exactly what got played where this can work out. He plays that, yeah. Oh. You know what? Yeah. Oh, fuck. He's going to go here. Oh, you know, he's not. That was the whole point of this. I don't want him to go there because then I can't really like walk away. Bring the rook over. That's a f free pawn. I don't like my king's safety, but I do like a free pawn because he has to move this to here. Unless he sacks it, that'd be kind of hilarious. I don't know that that works, but it'd be kind of cute. I'm gonna pre-move it so it gets scared. Oh! <laughs> God, people at this level are all this fucking same person. Yeah, I don't think that works. It like kind of looks cute, but you're just clean down a piece now. Okay. Okay. Stop giving me checks. It's funny, he couldn't move the F rook. I kind of just want a sec. hilarious if he goes like queen b4 he's fine but no wait oh he's fucked because yeah he's guarding the knight right now but the knight's pinned oh fuck no it's not that's check Wait. No, I'm fine. I just want a sack. Yeah, I only lost four points for losing to that 1800. And I should have beat that 1800. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I do this? It's got to be something on the H file. No, I just had lost my queen. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I just didn't see the check. Yo, knight e5 is so cute. I saw it for a second. I was looking at that and that. But I focused on knight b4 because I didn't want to lose the attack on this. Um, so I basically immediately ruled this out. But it was the other one that attacked the queen, which was the value in it. Damn. That sucks. Apparently we both played like fucking 60% accuracy. And I, I guess. I guess we did. Like, 
I just don't believe that. Wow, I haven't seen someone do that in a long time. Uh, technically it's this. Just gonna castle. Oh, fuck. He doesn't have to take back with the bishop. That was like the whole thing. Well, fuck. This sucks. Oh, I really just hung that pawn. That's really annoying. Whoa. Where are you going to put the knight? I'll take it over here. It's the only way I'm getting the pawn back. Okay. I'll work on that. That is a job for later. Uh... It's gonna give a check, which whatever. Yeah. Yo, that's a crazy move. Does this work? So, ah, uh, he can go rook d8. Yeah, but opposite colored bishops just take the draw, man. I'm the one that fucked up. Put everything on a light square. Uh, I don't know where you think you're going. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm just gonna have to keep my king here. It's interesting. I go here and here, and I might win this pawn. Oh. Oh, he's going to go there.
shit. That should be a draw. Fuck you. What are you doing? Make the same fucking move. Make the same fucking move, dude. I have 29 fucking seconds. Make the same fucking move. I'm about to report this, dude. I'm straight up about to report this, dude. Brother. There is not a single move you can make that stops me from doing this unless you walk your king up to G7. And if you fucking do that, I'm like... You know what? Fuck you. You move your king up, I'm moving mine up. Uh-oh. You're losing. Okay, you're not losing, but you don't really have a choice as far as the rest of this is concerned. Uh-oh. Oh, free pawn! Jesus, dude. Did either of us give that away? He did. Oh, I needed to see a move earlier. Oh. I needed to see a move earlier. Fuck me. What is he? I mean, he just lo loses, right? He has to play E2. Oh, so that I take this. Oh, wait. No, I have to queen. And then he queens. Oh, 
Oh, now that's crazy. And I have to play king f5 threatening the bishop. And he has to basically play bishop h4. And then lose the bishop a move later. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. All of a sudden, I'm up a pawn and a bishop. If I had just seen that. But the problem is, I, I, saw, I saw that, and I still didn't see that I can't take that pawn. Because I would have definitely taken the pawn. I could go king f5 already. That's hilarious. <laughs> if he queens, then I have to queen. That's crazy. Uh... Wait, you want to do a 3 and 4 for Trey Tucker? And I want a second, but why don't we just do Tucker and AJ Barner for a second? Because then it takes up two roster spots that I don't currently have on my team. I did not mean to do that. Alright, Dark Knight Gambit. It's been a minute. Fuck you for playing it correctly. Uh, I don't remember what I'm supposed to play here. Oh my god, he plays it correctly, too. Uh, was it this? Fuck. No, it's that. Fuck you for knowing this. I think I got out of it, though. Whoa. What? I'm curious. I can't lie to you, dog. I don't know why that took me a second. <sighs> Fuck me. Oh, that's not good. Like, that's the whole fucking point, man. Oh. Oh, and then he wins a rook for a queen. Oh, that's not it. Wait, what? Am I crazy? <sighs> Just down a clean rope. That's cute. I'll give him that. I'll take that, mate. I, I just literally didn't even mean to play that. I, like, took a second to think about what to play and then play the wrong move. Hmm. I had him, though. He can't play that freaky fucking move that he played. I'm just supposed to play this. I don't really know why. Hmm. Yeah, and then when he didn't take with the bishop, it reopened the whole thing. But I fucked up. Oh! What? Rook takes d8 first is the rudest fucking thing I've ever seen.
What a game, dude! A queen and two pawns for a rook and two pieces. Except I feel like he's got to lose something else here, right? What's he going to do? Sack a queen for two pieces or something? Uh. Rip the seven days to die world? Well, you have like a life now. It's like a problem. I'm, I'm just annoyed that... He really just played the Dark Knight Gambit to perfection. Uh, what? Okay. Oops. Resigns. I have a life and you don't stream on weekends. <laughs> You're like not that available on weekends. Also, we've we've played together on weekends, just not seven days to die, because playing seven days to die two days out of the week is just not the vibe. Is it going to give me a hundred? Oh, fuck you for saying that bishop move wasn't the best. Fuck you for saying that wasn't the best move. Fuck you. The fact that that's possible. Like, it literally, you know what? Accuracy should be dependent on who you're playing. I'll say it. Because at this level, that's the best move. Not because, like, oh, there's only one good move that black can play, and there's no way they're going to see this brilliant sacrifice. Like, no, it's actually a, like, 99.4% <laughs> accurate move. It's just, or I guess, 94 ish percent 95 percent accurate move like it is a great move it's just technically not better if you're playing a computer but if you're playing a, like you're not playing a computer you're playing someone who's gonna hang their queen on the next move but instead it wants you to attack the queen first give it life and then go here anyway and allow him to hop out here and then just castle? H3, threatening that. Wait, what does he do? How do you, do you have to play this? Yo. And then I play it anyway? No. Bishop D2. You just, you come back. Oh, because you don't need the bishop up there. Like, yeah, it buys the, the space for the queen, but his queen's just weak now. That's interesting. I like taking my chances at winning the queen, though, especially because it basically transposes the same, right? Like, I play this, and he goes there, right? It's just a bunch of moves all around where it's like, I'd rather him just do that and win the queen. Red shirt for all normal purposes. <laughs> so you still have to go to the game. So basically, I take a few classes, work out price with the team, save my eligibility for next year when I start. Interesting. And you'll be a freshman next year still, by eligibility standards. Okay. I don't know if that was the best move, but... He's wearing your jersey in the sideline without pads, yeah. Oh, 
Okay, I guess. He should move his queen here or something. <laughs> People are too easy, man. Wait, what am I doing? I was so worried about that, that neither of us looked at the fact that that's just a garbage ass move. Fuck me. Fuck you. I can't believe we both missed it and then both found it. <laughs> Can we talk about Pitts being dropped? I mean, hey, man. He played like buns cakes. Oh. Don't know that I like that. But actually, this is kind of cute. There's no way you can get away with d6. I refuse to believe that you can get away with d6 with my current structure. Oh. What? I go here, I guess. I can't lie. Don't really have a response to that. Oh fuck, he's gonna go F4 too. I'm not in a great position here. I don't like this at all. He actually already could have played it. That's funny. Okay. Uh... Yeah, obviously. Oh, that's annoying. It's fine. Just don't like this now. I like this one bit. Hang the queen. He's totally gonna hang the queen. Ah, oh, fuck you. I refuse to believe he can get away with d6. Admittedly, if he does get away with it, I probably lose this game. No, but. Just go here, right? Yeah, like, that's cool. Actually, I could get away with knight d6 myself. I probably should have taken the pawn. No. No, I like this a lot better. Um, I cannot play knight d6 if he does precisely that. Um, I don't fucking know, man. I guess I'll shut the fuck up. I don't like this. Okay. There's no way, right? Yo, that's cute as fuck. 
Okay, but I'm about to go knight d6 and win the e-pawn, right? Uh, he's gonna win that pawn, it seems. He's gonna do rook takes, but it won't matter. Falcons game. Should I turn it on? Oops. I guess you go rookie one. Yeah, that's annoying. I have a little bit of time on him. Uh, that's easy. Oh. Yeah, it's a draw. Until one of us hangs something, which we will. Okay. Oh, that's not it. Oops. Just come to the center. Fuck you. Ah, oh, you. What am I doing wrong? I think I figured it out. What's up, Q? Oh, we winning, baby. Game's rigged, delay game. Wait, what are we doing? Am I watching this game? Uh, what is it, Prime Video? Uh, I'm hopping off, by the way. I'm just gonna watch the end of this game. I probably should watch the end of this game off stream, but here we are. Watch me broadcast. Oh, OT? Get the ball first with overtime. Thursday okay. Night football resumes right after these messages. Cool. Uh, watching that off stream. Hope you guys have fun in the stream. Um, I will be off this weekend. Presumably both nights. I think technically it's possible that I'm live Thursday. By the way, if you haven't seen it, Luke and Q. It's fucking lit. It's actually like literally threaded into like you can kind of see the type of fabric. 
Um, I guess it's kind of hard with the dark colors, but with the light colors, I guess you can kind of see it. Um, and it's literally threaded into it. Like, the threads that make this up are the actual logo. So, Christmas sweater, if you guys want it. Um, there are a couple other designs. Um, so, if you guys like it, let me know. I could probably do a stream where I, like, I'll buy it if you make it on Minecraft. Just, like, paint it out. Jesus. Rocking the merch for the marathon, pull it up like a real team. There is, like, there's a bunch of merch there that I haven't, like, even touched yet. Like, there's athletic gear and shit like that, but I actually want to watch this over time. So, that's it for me. Hope you guys have fun in the stream. Peaky Boo do things. I'll be off this weekend. I might be live Sunday, but probably not. Um, and then I'll also be off next Thursday for the Niners football. So, I guess I'll be back Tuesday, Wednesday is kind of the hope. So, hopefully more city skylines. Definitely got to knock out my flashcards. We'll see how that plays into things, but that's it for me. I'm out. See y'all then. Those is... I'm not going to, so quit asking.